On July 21, 2022, Thomas Hayes and Jared Bird were operating the twin-engine tandem rotor Chinook helicopter that was helping fight a wildfire in Idaho when the helicopter crashed in the Salmon River near North Fork. Investigators say this iPad and its specific damage is likely tied to the cause of the crash that took the lives of both men. What the investigative team found at the end of the day was most likely that the iPad uh, that was uh, in the cockpit fell in between the, the control uh, the the uh, control pedals the yaw control pedals and ultimately played a part in the accident. Now again, keep in mind this is not the final report. This is not it's not probable cause, but we wanted to get the word out now to keep that condition from happening. NTSB Alaska Regional Chief Clint Johnson says the specific damage found on the iPad in the cockpit of that tragic crash is consistent with what investigators found on instrument controls on an identical helicopter. They were able to find uh, an exemplary uh, Chinook by, that was owned by the same operator. They were able to actually match those witness marks up. We had that information quite some time ago. However, we needed to go through that machine to make sure that we weren't missing anything. We didn't want to jump to conclusions. But now we have pretty, pretty good evidence that most likely this play at least played a part in the accident at this point. Johnson says electronic devices such as phones and tablets are common in a variety of aircraft and say that's a big reason the NTSB released details of this fatal crash to help prevent it from happening again. It's a little surprising. Uh, you, you know, the, we have investigated accidents where flight controls have, have become uh, encumbered before or f inf interfered with, uh, with uh, the control of the aircraft. This was a unique situation, obviously, but again, it's something that we wanted to get the word out to make sure that every operator is cognizant of this, uh, of the findings that we have so far. Post-accident examination of the helicopter revealed that the pilot's left pedal was at the forward-most adjustment setting and the co-pilot's right pedal was at the middle adjustment setting, with the seat restraints on and seats adjusted. The public docket found that the men could not reach the iPad. The NTSB now wants to make sure this doesn't happen again.